If your senior dog is suffering from idiopathic vestibular disease, then learning how to treat old dog vestibular disease at home can be a vital step to ensuring that their path to recovery is as smooth as possible, keeping them calm, comfortable, and as free from complications as you can. Stay tuned to find out how. Hi, if we've not met before, I'm Dr. Alex, the veterinarian behind ourpetshealth.com, where my aim is to help you and your pets live a healthier, happier life. Make sure you check out my essential guide to vestibular disease video to find out more about this scary disease. But for now, let's jump into my five home care tips for treating old dog vestibular disease. So tip number one is to help your old dog avoid injuries. So when they're disorientated, when they're stumbling around, it's very easy for them to become injured. And so to do to prevent that from happening, we can do a number of things. We can stop your dog lying down on slippery floors or having their bed on slippery floors. You can try and put a rug or a runner down. It's important to make sure that's got a non-slip grip so it's not sliding around when your dog walks on it or just keeping them on carpeted areas to make sure that they're not gonna slip and fall over. It will also help them just get purchased when they're trying to stand up while they're a little bit unsteady on their legs. If your dog is really unsteady, then actually supporting them can make a big difference as well. So what you can do is you can um, actually put a harness on your dog. Some are appropriate for keeping on all the time. Others, it's better just to slip on when you're gonna take your dog out to go to the toilet, for example. And I really like the ones by Julius Canine. They're very robust, they've got a great handle. What you can do is you can just help your dog get to their feet in the first place. You can then hold this handle to help support them while they're getting outside while they're outside going to the toilet as well. For those dogs that are really struggling as well as having that handle on their harness you can pop a towel or a sheet under their tummy just in front of their back legs to again provide just a little bit of extra support and stability to help them help them get around and to help stop them becoming injured through falling. Tip number two is to prevent pressure sores or urine or fecal scalding. So Often dogs who are suffering from vestibular disease, they're just lying around, they're sleeping a lot, they're really not wanting to move, and that can be a recipe for disaster, for developing pressure sores, which can then, then be quite challenging to treat in some cases, or getting really sore skin around their back hand, their back legs, if they're having accidents, they're wetting themselves or going to the toilet, and that's then sitting next to the skin. So the, in the first case, what we should do is try and encourage our dogs to get around within reason. We don't want to force them to do more than they, they're able to do uh, or if they get upset by being moved. But if they're, not being, if they're not moving at all, actually just rotating them from side to side every few hours and making sure that they've got really nice, soft, comfortable bedding as well. That will just reduce any pressure, especially around kind of any bony bits. So often our older dogs, they might be a little bit skinny. They might have lost muscle around their hips, that kind of thing. And so those areas, those bony prominences are going to be more likely to develop pressure sores. So just keeping that bedding really soft. Also keeping it clean though. So if your dog does have an accident, then changing it straight away. Also bathing them and drying them um, where they've urinated on, on themselves, for example, because that will stop the skin getting red and sore. If though you do find that your dog is developing um, urine scalding, you know, that might be because they've been um, sleeping overnight. You've understandably been sleeping as well, you know, and you definitely need to look after yourself while your dog's going through this. Um, you could actually use a barrier cream. So that could be something like Sudocrem um, or Vaseline, um, just that you pick up from the, from the pharmacy just to help prevent that urine scalding as well. Tip number three to look after an old dog with vestibular disease is to encourage them to drink and encourage them to eat. So it's important, obviously, that they stay hydrated. It's also important, if we can, to try and ensure that they're getting um, enough calories in. Just they're in a recovery mode, they're gonna need their calories and we don't want them losing more body condition, losing more muscle than they need to while they're sick. So we could do this in a number of ways. Certainly when it comes to encourage them to drink, we can put ice cubes in their water bowl. We just need to offer it to them regularly. Remember your dog might not be wanting to get up. They might be really reluctant even to, to reach not very far to try and get to that water. So just taking it to them. Um, you can also put um, flavoured ice cubes in or just flavouring. So that could be low salt stock cubes. You really want to evolve any, any, any you really want to avoid anything with a high salt content, but you could also boil up some chicken, boil up some vegetables and use that broth um, just to add flavor to the water. And then to encourage them to eat, you can just choose something that you know your dog likes, some strong tasting, some strong smelling food, 
uh, you can warm that up a little bit. That can really help and you can also hand feed it. So have your dog either lick it off your finger or take it out of your hand. And again, offering it to your dog, taking it to your dog because they might be hungry, but they might be really reluctant to get up and actually go to their food bowl. Tip number four is to try and prevent anxiety. So it can be very anxious for your dog, you know, when they're not understanding why they're struggling, why they're stumbling around, why they can't get up, why, why the world seems to be spinning with their head at a funny angle. So to do this, simply spend time with your dog, be there to reassure them. You don't have to spend all your time stroking or petting them, obviously, but just your presence being, them, being there, you know, talking to them in a gentle voice, your reassurance can make a big difference. If your dog is able, you know, consider using some kind of food treat, food toy. So that could be a Kong, it could be a licky pad, um, it could be a food puzzle, something like that. Now, obviously, um, if a dog is badly affected, then they're not gonna be able to, to cope and deal with those, those kind of more challenging situations when their balance is very off. But it could definitely be good mental stimulation for those dogs that aren't too badly affected or are well on their way to recovery who just still need to rest. And then finally, if your dog is getting anxious, then consider anti-anxiety medication. That could be um, something like the supplement Zilkeen. It could be um, Adaptil, um, which is dog-appeasing pheromone. That comes in a, a collar form or a plug-in diffuser. Um, you could also, and something a lot of people are saying at the moment, consider something like CBD oil. Now, CBD oil isn't the be-all and end-all. There's a lot that we don't know about it. Um, so, you know, definitely be careful with that. I've got a video uh, linking to, to my discussion on CBD oil um, in the description down below. So make sure you check out that if you are considering that as an option. But, you know, the other thing to do is obviously talk to your vet. And that brings me on to my fifth tip. And that really is to work closely with your vet. So you need to be sure that your dog does have idiopathic vestibular disease or old dog vestibular disease. There are a number of other conditions that can cause very similar symptoms. You know, as an extreme, it could be a brain tumor. So you definitely want to make sure that you're treating your dog for the right thing, um, that you've been through the appropriate diagnostics that need to happen or that you're willing for your dog to undergo to make sure that you are treating them appropriately and as effectively as possible. Your dog may also need other medications. For example, if they're feeling really nauseous or if they're vomiting, they might need treatment to stop that so that they then feel like eating, they feel like drinking, and they you know, remain hydrated. Um, it may also be that your dog has other conditions that need to be addressed, or they're already under treatment, and it's important that you work with your vet to make sure that you're able to give the appropriate treatment that your dog needs. So it could be that they've got um, kidney disease, they've got liver problems, it could be any number of different things that your dog's having. It could be they're arthritic and they need some anti-inflammatory painkillers or something like that. So you need to have a chat about what's important to your dog, both from a vestibular disease point of view, but also what's going on with their general health. And, you know, being older dogs, frequently there are other things going on. And then finally, if your dog really is severely affected, if you're struggling, then the hospital might definitely be the best place for them. You know, they'll be looked after by a team of nurses who are fantastic at caring for, caring for patients in situations like old dogs with vestibular disease. They may need intravenous fluids to stop them being dehydrated. They may need other care and attention. So, you know, that's definitely something to consider if you're struggling. So we don't want to just assume that because old dog vestibular disease is a condition that generally improves very well, that that can always be managed at home. Sometimes the veterinary hospital is the best place for them. So I hope these tips and strategies help you to help your old dog get through their bout of vestibular disease. Let me know in the comments below anything you found that really helped your dog. Vestibular disease, it can be a very scary experience. It looks exactly like a dog who's had a stroke. So it can be really upsetting and challenging to watch your old dog go through this. But as I discuss in my essential guide to vestibular disease in dogs, it really is one that the vast majority recover from very well. So remember to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you're not already, and until next time, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, because they're family.